Hi Leo, welcome to your weekend reading. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Mind Info Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So let's go ahead and jump right in. How does Leo feel about the person on their mind? What's going on? Okay, you love this person, but you have made a decision to let go because there's too many boundaries and you're tired of being stressed out and you want a fresh new start. You're just done with trying to hold on to something that doesn't feel like it's it's right for you anymore. So we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Hangman in reverse, and we also have the Emperor that comes out. Additionally, there was the Nine of Swords that came out um, with that Emperor, which is telling me, you're tired of stressing over this, you're tired of the boundaries and the, you know, not getting much from this person and the fool is at the bottom of the deck you're like i'm ready for a fresh new start i'm ready to go a different direction because this person you know i've offered my love to them i've tried to be supportive i've tried to be there but i just can't anymore so letting go of it and you know it's it's a decision that you're making even though it's not entirely what you want to do but it is what you want to do I know that makes sense in, in, a, in a way for you um, because you do love this person, but you know, this is like kind of a tough love situation. Like, you know what? If they don't change or this doesn't change. Then this is what I have to do for me. Um, I understand. So let's see. How does this person feel about Leo? We have the Devil, Six of Cups, the Star, as well as the World card at the bottom of the deck right here. Um, they have a bit of an obsession over the memories that you two share. Um, you also remind them a little bit of, of either an ex or that they've known you all of your life. Maybe you have been friends forever, but it feels like a past life love with that Six of Cups and the Star. Like you are this dream come true and they are just like oh my gosh I'm all about you but you're not getting much of that from them is what I see you have um said how you feel you've been supportive they're also I get like obsessed with the kind of love that you give Leo <laughs> so all right let's go ahead and get the connection between the two of you Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no wonder. Okay, so in this connection, I see a lot of silence. Okay, we have the Hermit, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. You're tired of being stuck in your own thoughts here of what the heck is going on? Did I do something? Why am I having to wait on this person? Why are they not talking to me? Why is, do they want to be alone? Um, there's a lot of being alone, waiting on one another, and just feeling stuck, paralyzed, can't do anything to take that leap forward. That doesn't really feel like you not wanting to take that leap forward because you do, but you're tired of being in doubt because this person is making you wait and you don't get much from them and you feel like you need more. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this queen of cups. Ooh, talk about nervous. <laughs> yeah, all you want to do is love this person. And so you share your feelings, but then you focused on how you were going to share those feelings so much that you got really in your head and 
in your mind that it came out as like just a general like you look so good blah 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 um with that page of pentacles like a being nice sharing some good news here rather than sharing and expressing that love like i really like you like you look really i don't know hot i'm in love with you but it you know the energy was there and you were like i'm gonna do this i'm excited and then it didn't come out that way and that's okay um that's all right. Let's go ahead and clarify the hangman in reverse. Some of you, when you did express your feelings to them, you didn't get much back from them. They didn't say much of anything. They're like, that's nice. And so for you, you're like, what the heck does that mean? That's nice. That's nice that you like me. <laughs> so yeah, you're giving what you're getting in return. You've had enough time to think about this and you just want balance and success and so you've been waiting for this person to take action and pursue you in some way because you have been trying to get their attention like hey look i actually want to show you love i want this to feel good but you're not getting that from them and so everything in moderation with that temperance card the king of wands and the seven of pentacles there is this patience like have you have demonstrated on a great scale of great measure, Leo, a lot of patience with that temperance card um, that you normally don't. Um, and when really you wanted to pursue, but you know, it's just waiting and looking and like things didn't change and what's going on. It just felt like you were fighting for this person's attention constantly. And what you were getting is waiting, 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 and waiting for them to show you that they want to be with you as well. Um, but that's where you're like, I have to let go of this. I can't, you know, I've looked at this. It's too frustrating. It's just too much. I'm not going to sit there and fight for someone that doesn't want to fight for me back. Okay. And this is where it comes. Okay. This is where it all comes in. All right. Well, at least you're honest, Leo. So you're going to approach this person if you haven't already, because you've given it enough thought and you're like, we need to talk. And when you tell them, it's a lot of, you know, I've given you so much opportunity to move forward with me, to take a, a leap of faith and they just don't. And so for you, you're like, I, I have to go a different direction. I'm sorry. Um, the wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck. So that tells me that when you do this though, you are opening up a new door to some new abundance and blessings that with this fresh new start, like this is what I want to do. It's just the way that it's going to go. Now, does that mean that it opens this person's eyes to the fact that they have, um, been neglective of, of proving that, you know, they're worth your time? Um, or does it mean that you have a new blessing coming in once you close that door? We'll have to see. So let's go ahead and clarify the devil. So Leo, you're like forbidden fruit to this person. You're really attractive and they really like that. Um, but they're in limbo and trying to listen to their intuition. Like, just go for it. You know, you want their attention, um, but they're holding back their feelings. They're not showing you this knight of cups where they come in and just, okay. So they do in a passionate way. Like when they kiss you, when they talk to you in certain phrases, but it's not like, I am so in love with you, Leo. You just are everything I've been looking for. And that's really how they feel. They just reflect on the fact that, yeah, I'm getting your attention. I'm really in love with you, but I'm just in limbo about saying, you know, this, I'm just, I'm going to keep it a secret right now. Um, there's a bit of an obsession over you as well. Let's go ahead and clarify the six of cups. Okay, so the Six of Cups is clarified by the star, the devil, the hermit, and then the chariot at the bottom of the deck. And this just tells me that um, as far as memories with you and wanting to open up and exchange, you know, things about themselves, they're 
hopeful, but then they're fearful and it makes them conflicted and they just have to go within and then they just don't do anything um, when it comes to making a choice and where their path is taking them. There might even be some things that they have in their life that are not good for them, maybe people around them or just toxic energy, but it's not from you. We have the star, the devil, and the hermit, like I said, which just... It's like you can't have hope and fear at the same time, one or the other, you know, because they both cancel out each other if you have both. Um, but this person's like, what do I do? What do I say? I don't know. Um, and so they just go into this like reflecting and thinking about things and wanting to open up and share with you things about themselves and their life and whatnot. Um, the chariot's really pushing them to do so. There's also the fact that this person feels like they knew you in another life or something like that. There is definitely an obsession with your body, with the physicalness of you. That is definitely there. It's like a dream come true to this person. Let's go ahead and clarify the star. So when you bring it up to this person about what you want to talk about, this is where they begin to be more hopeful that you are in love with them or you want more. Not that you didn't or didn't express in some way how you felt about them, but you know we have the King of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. So, oh my gosh, Leo, uh, you're in love with me, really? So they're hopeful because they feel that, you know, you love them the way that they're falling for you and they're receiving this good news here, which is making them feel a sense of we can have um, everything that we want together, that 10 of cups. So that is that blessing coming in. It's like you telling them that, look, I'm going to leave if you don't do something about this or show me how you feel and you know, they bring this news to you after you are the first one to exchange how you really feel about them. Um, let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you. You two give this a second chance here and the four of swords, the sun, the knight of wands, and then the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So there is a second chance and there is hope here, um, but it feels like you both are at ease, at rest, feeling happy with one another and making the time and opportunity for each other. They're chasing after you. Um, the judgment card right here, you both are seeing each other clearly. So there's hope here, but it all is when you say something to them and like you stand your ground and I see that you're like here I go because <laughs> I can't sit here in silence anymore all right so let's go ahead and get some oracle messages for you Leo first thing that comes out is going to be resolution whatever it is that you've been struggling with is about to be resolved remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief and then we have bravery you're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off because of fear which is understandable but you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision and you will feel so much lighter when you do. All right, Leo, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.